strong classroom community and strong student teacher rapport right here, morning meeting. I'm gonna give you four steps to have the most effective morning meeting and I promise you from personal experience, it will draw your class so close. You will get to know so much about your students and your whole day is gonna be better. Hi, my name is Patsy G. I've been teaching for seven years. I have my master's degree in curriculum and instruction. I'm a TPT author and I do know what I'm talking about. When I first started teaching, I didn't have super strong student teacher rapport. I was just kind of their teacher. They went through the academic day and we did not have strong classroom community. There was a lot of fighting. Kids were always complaining at recess. And I was like, how am I gonna get these kids to bond together and love their classroom? and I did it through morning meeting. Step one, during morning meeting, the first thing you do is a greeting. I like to go outside and greet my kids individually by name, just give them a nux every morning so they feel special. But then when we come in the classroom, we greet each other. And if you're like, okay, but how do they greet each other? What do you do? I do have morning meetings on my TPT um, and I'll just put a picture there um, and you can just go there. The link is in my bio if you want that. But um, the first thing they do is they greet each other. And I have tons of fun morning meeting greetings, like waddle like a penguin and say good morning to somebody or give someone a good morning peace sign, things like that. Um, step two is sharing. And the kids get to share something about themselves, either with a partner or in front of the class. And you will learn so much about your students with sharing, that, that part's really important. And then part three, this is where the class really bonds. You do a really fun activity of some sort. And I have made up a lot of fun games. Um, this week, for example, we had a classroom snow fight, a snowball fight, and it was so much fun. Every kid crumpled up about three pieces of paper, and then we just threw them at each other across the line, there was two teams, and we kept throwing them at each other back and forth for one minute, and then at the end of the minute, whoever had the least amount of snowballs on their side won the game, and that was so much fun, and it really bonds the class close because they're laughing, they're having a good time, and it's great. Step four is morning message. This is where you give them a message either from you or some kind of inspirational quote that you dig into. Some teachers do a new one every day. I don't, I used to do that, but kids weren't remembering the quotes. So I started doing one per week and then just diving into it in a different way every single day. Like what does it mean to me? What does it mean to you? How does this influence you in the future? And again, you can find all that stuff on my TPT. Um, just go to the link in my bio and follow for more.